you, bitch, you gotta be jealous of me. Because I ain't do shit to you. All I did was not speak because I wasn't in the mood. Bitch, I waved my hand up. Fuck. I asked her would she like to chill. She already knew the deal and put some numbers back up on the clock. Yeah, she said she was down for that. Zoom, zoom in a little bit. So, usually I sit in cars, make videos. My bitch ass car. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's just not talk about that. Um, today is gonna be, today's video is gonna be a collaboration. Do you know what I'm saying? First one with, um, it's Vanna. You guys should go subscribe to my bitch, man. Go subscribe. So all I'm gonna say, go subscribe. Um, if you want to like uh, collab with me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. Nah, just play. But if you want to collab with me, the best way to get in contact with me is Instagram. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that shit. But uh, yeah, this video is basically <clears throat> gonna be about my high school senior year as well as Vanna's. So, yeah. And a lot of people don't know how to pronounce my ma my name. It is Amari. Amari Proctor. Proctor. Uh, and a lot of people ask me or, um, and yeah, that's just how you say it. So, don't feel bad if you get it wrong because a lot of people get it wrong. So, yeah. Um, anyways, my high school year was not, not not the best actually fuck that i was like the most well one of the most popular bitches ninth and tenth grade right 11th grade that shit changed like a motherfucker so basically let me just skip all the unnecessary ass shit right and just start with 11th grade 11th grade there was these two girls i was friends with and we're just gonna name them Dumbass bitches, okay? Dumbass bitch one, dumbass bitch two, ho, okay? Okay. So, I'm in the bathroom one day. Keep in mind that, like, three hours had already passed in school, and I had already seen them, had already spoken to them. Like, hey, Alex, uh, what are you trying to do later at the second block? <laughs> okay. So, I'm in the bathroom. Peeing and shit, get out the bathroom. Dumb bitch one, dumb bitch two, come in. And they're like, hey! As if they didn't just see me fucking 30 minutes ago so i mean i don't know what was wrong with me that day but i just wasn't in the mood like i just wasn't in the mood for any fucking thing so i was just like uh they took it as oh she don't wanna speak to us after i already spoke to you <laughs> all right well anyways so i didn't think nothing of it nothing of it so day go past day is over get home wake up Get on Facebook. This one, Facebook was popping, bitch. Fucking lit. Facebook drama left and right, bitches fighting. All type of shit, you know what I'm saying? It's still like that today. I didn't realize. That's another story time. I got, you know what? Fuck that. I'm just gonna stay focused. So, um, dumb bitch one, right? There's a tall dumb bitch and a list a little pequeño, very pequeño, small bitch dumb bitch too so dumb bitch one decided to make a book ass paragraph about me on facebook she was basically to sum it up she was like who it was so lame oh my god i can't even right now but she was like does anybody know a skinny ass bitch who walks around a school and thinks she's all that blah 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 and i'm just like You, you, bitch, you gotta be jealous of me. Because I didn't do shit to you. All I did was not speak because I wasn't in the mood. Bitch, I waved my hand up. Fuck. She was mad about that. So that was the start of the drama of my 11th grade year. Something that fucking stupid. I knew that bitch was jealous of me forever. Because she would always stare at me and be like, oh. You know how you just know somebody is just like envious and just like. They're your friend, but they're like, uh. I like your shoes. <laughs> Not really. I'm like, yes, you do, bitch. You love my shoes, actually, so. That was the start of it. Now, after that, it just seems like everybody had it out for me. And I just didn't know what the fuck I did. I did not. I had this boy best friend, right? 
we were best friends since ninth grade oh my gosh like why the fuck it's so cold my nose is like snotty right now excuse me and we're gonna call him fucking fucking peter peter ass was the reason that my senior year went to shit okay okay all right Let's just rewind for like two seconds. That bitch, bitch won. You know what I'm saying? I was about to fight that bitch because she just kept talking hella shit. Hella motherfucking shit. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit to the end, like to homecoming. Still dealing with this bitch because I don't want to talk about them dumb bitches anymore. But she tried. Okay, so we were running. I was running for homecoming queen, which I should have won, by the way. But dumb bitch, too. Nobody in the whole school liked her, but she was so. She was that greedy to win so she changed all the little ballots or votes to her name and took all of my shit out so she can win and she made me come in last place that's a whole nother motherfucking story like yeah yes that bitch did that i want to punch her in her shit actually walking past in the uh hallway i was like hey dumb bitch too what's up she was like girl girl i'm like bitch <laughs> bitch keep in mind i'm like five seven she like five one but she it's like, you can't, uh, somebody probably be like, oh, you a bully, but it's like, no, you can't talk mad shit when you that small, you talk hella shit, like, oh, I'm gonna I'm beat that bitch, all right, bitch, what's up? It ain't no building up to it, it was walking past that motherfucker in the hallway, going to the cafeteria, and I was like, what's up? She was like, girl, I was like, oh, I thought so, bitch, but anyways, back to dumb bitch number one, I was about to fight that bitch. <laughs> You know what I said? I said, at, like, it just happened after school because she'd been talking hella shit. I'm like, I want to fight her. I'm like, okay, we could fight after school, bitch. So we go out to like where the buses are. This shit is all over the place, but it, I'm gonna get to the root of my problem of my senior year. But as you can see, I had a lot of problems for no fucking reason. So we get out to like where the school buses pick up the little motherfuckers at the end of the day, and I'm like, dumb bitch number one, what's up? She said, I don't want to fight right here. Let's go fight off the campus. I'm like, bitch, you waste the time. Uh, maybe I like walking motherfucker a whole mile just to get off the campus to fight you bitch like let's fight right now i'm this close to her face and she was backing up i was like all right then bitch like and i'm getting closer and like i don't know how closer can you get to somebody's face from like right here but it's a thing somebody yanked me back and i was like you lucky bitch because i ain't so i'm not with the shits man I ain't that big either, but I ain't scared of never, motherfucker. I'm just saying. <laughs> Five seven one fifteen. I fight a bitch six four three forty. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so that's it with those bitches. Back to the best friend. We were best friends, and then some shit happened. I honestly forgot. So and I just stopped fucking with him. And then he got this girlfriend after we stopped being friends. So the girlfriend just placed this little side note write this shit down okay write this shit down before me and um the peter stopped being friends when we were best friends we used to hang out all the fucking time like best friends like go to his house all the time i never in my life had a desire to want this nigga ne bitch never so keep that in mind like if i'm gonna be back friends with somebody i'm gonna go back to what the fuck I, we usually did like okay so after we stopped being friends he got the girlfriend then the girlfriend was like you should go back and be friends with amari like i think you should work it out write that shit down what i just said okay write that shit down because these bi bitches are dumb i swear to god so Peter comes up to me and we start talking, blah, 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 we're friends again. Go back to doing the same old shit, right? Okay, one, I could, I probably can understand what you're back to, what you're accumulating in your fucking head right now. Anybody who's a girlfriend and has a motherfucking boyfriend wouldn't want another bitch. 
all up on her man, right? But I wasn't, I was never all up on him, okay? First of all, bitch, you had motherfucking basketball practice. He was always doing some shit, so it wasn't like he was with this motherfucker all the time. Like, he was barely with, you only seen him at school, like, what the fuck? Like, me, me and Peter, we would do stuff, like, go to his house, like, just chilling, like, go to the mall, like, just chilling. I, I can admit, it was a bit... We did it every day, but it was just like, he was talking to you every day, and I told you I didn't want this motherfucker every day. He told you he didn't want me every day. Keep that in mind, too. He didn't want me. Keep that shit in mind. That's just... Bitch, you need to take notes right now. So, we're back friends, blah, 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 and then people would be like, oh, Amari a homewrecker. She be with Peter too much, and then... The fucking girlfriend would spread her own rumors, and then when they got back to her, she'd be like, what? He's cheating on me? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you, you did that. You told your whole little basketball squad. And if you, if you didn't know, if you're on a team in high school, you're like automatically like semi-popular because being on, being involved in shit in high school gets you popular. So if you want to be that bitch, bitch, get on the chess team, volleyball team, basketball, like, you'll know everybody. Just saying. But she's on the basketball team, so she made those bitches not like me by telling shit she didn't want her own self to hear to them. I'm like, oh my God, what is your problem? Meanwhile, the bitches she needed to worry about was... Her friends. Because Peter was fucking everything in that school. But me, I'm sorry. You was worrying about the wrong bitch. You forgot. We're best friends. I know who the fuck he was fucking. It wasn't me, bitch. My legs was closed. They were twisted like this five times around. Just legs twisted the fuck up. Nope, not me. I don't understand. You so focused on me, but you not worried about my fucking Shaquisha and Bo Bonisha. Okay? Because that's who we fucking. And not me. <laughs> And then, later on in life, when you found out that he was fucking one of your very closest friends, that hurt you. I bet you it was like, oh, maybe Mari was, maybe she really wasn't doing nothing. And that should've, should've clicked in her head when it was this bitch that wanted Peter at a basketball game, and I was not there. Peter was telling me like, oh, she's saying my girl ugly, and da 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 and as a best friend, I'm like so hella loyal, even though his fucking bitch didn't like me. I was like, I'm, I'm hella real. Like, I'm not going to sit there and call a bitch ugly and she not just because I'm mad. So I was like, hey, like, chill out. She not ugly. Like, you can't get mad because he with her and not with you. So you're going to call her ugly because he with her. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So Peter told his girlfriend this. And this, this bitch was just like, oh. Oh, I j that should give you all the confirmation in the world that I don't want your, want your nigga. I don't want your nigga. But, uh, okay. So, one of the girls that was on the basketball team was cool with me and the girlfriend, right? We're gonna call, we're gonna call her fucking pussy, okay? Me and Peter went to this house party. With not just me and Peter, and that's another thing I need to point out. It was never always just me and Peter. It was just me, Peter, and like five other people. Like, 70% of the time. So I don't understand because I was just the one bitch around the rest of the dudes. I was the one that was just like, maybe I like one of the other motherfuckers in the group. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't hang around bitches that much because my two bitches left the school. Because they transferred, but like, whatever. So... Anyways, we went to this party and it was all of us. It was like five of us there. But I just is it me or am I am I not normal? But well, like you go to a party, you taking pictures, right? That's normal. Okay? <laughs> okay. So me and Peter are taking pictures. Had them in my phone, whatever. It was fun it was fun. Went home, didn't think nothing nothing of it. A few days later, get back to school. And pussy I thought she was hella cool. Like I really did. I didn't see I didn't see this shit coming. She was like, hey Mari, let me hold your phone. I'm like, okay, pussy, let me hold your phone too. Like, let's just swap out on phones, okay? So I'm taking selfies and shit. Meanwhile, this bitch thinking of a motherfucking master plan to get my to set me up for some shit that was so innocent. Right? This bitch. <sighs> I don't understand. That's why I don't like 
bitches. She, and I don't know, I don't even know how she did it, but she took those, she looked through my photos, sent herself or sent somebody those fucking pictures of me and Peter from my phone. It wasn't her phone, couldn't it have been? She sent it to some number she knew she can get the pictures on, so yeah. And gave me my phone back like it was, like, no, I was like, here, she's like, here you go, like nothing. Now, it's two weeks before Valentine's Day, right? two two whole weeks 14 days this bitch held those pictures for two weeks just to just to i think she had it out for the motherfucking girlfriend because ain't no way i'm gonna sit there and try to ruin valentine's day for a motherfucker for a motherfucker she held those pictures for two weeks to send them to the girlfriend and started some type of shit with motherfucking peter i'm like bitch i i told her i was like i was being standoffish she was like trying to talk to me i was like mm. she was like what's wrong i was like you fake i can't talk to you like i don't want to talk to you anymore she was like what i do i was like you know exactly what the fuck you did like get out of my face done before that though before i told her like i didn't fuck with her i just needed some like type of some 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 solid proof so i was like hey pussy let me hold your phone she was like okay so i did it like that was like some fucking and, and like i was a ninja with that shit i was like oh messages da, da, da. i looked through the messages clicked on it i just seen a picture clicked on it and it was all the pictures that me and peter had taken so confirmation it was her then i told her i can't fuck with you bam done right a few days after that like all this stuff just kept happening like Continuously, it was just like, oh my gosh! And the shit that pissed me off was, I was the only one getting backlash for it. Like Peter was, nothing was happening to him. All these bitches, it was never dudes. All these bitches that the girlfriend and pussy was telling that I'm, I'm ruining the, the relationship. That I wasn't doing shit. I was not doing shit. As a matter of fact, when I went to Peter's house, I was in the room making out with Peter's brother. So I'm I'm going to Peter's house to see motherfucking the brother. I'm doing shit with the brother. Like, I can give a fuck about Peter, bitch. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. So anyways, I was getting all the backlash and he wasn't. And, like, people would sit there and talk shit about me. And he would come back and tell me. I'm like, well, what did you say? I just, I, I'm like, you see... What type of best friend not gonna sit up there and defend me when well, you know I'm not doing nothing wrong? And I'm like, Peter, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Like, I really don't care for this shit. Peter said, I don't care. I don't want her to have her way and feel like she got one up on me, like she running me. And I'm like, you, you want me to suffer because you don't want her to feel like she got one up on you. You don't want her to feel like she running you. So you want me to deal with all this shit every day? Is that what you're saying? Like, fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. And if, you have, if you're watching this, Peter, that's why I don't like you. It's not because you didn't give me a ride somewhere. That's dumb as fuck. <laughs> you're stupid. But anyway, there's a few other things why I just was like, fuck you. But yeah. So a few days later, after the whole picture thing, I'm, me and Peter are walking home. Well, I'm walking to his house to go see his brother after school and from the back somebody takes a picture of us so we didn't even know and it, it just happened in like two seconds it was like somebody took the picture i know who that bitch was pig face ass bitch but whatever she took the picture we didn't even make it to his house and his house is like five minutes away before we even get there the girlfriend kicks if you know what kick is K I K. <laughs> I haven't used that shit in fucking forever but kicks peter and Peter was like, wait, what is that picture? Her profile picture. And, like, I swear my life is like a fucking movie. Oh, my God. He clicks on that shit, and it's a picture of us from the back. I'm like, I'm not even doing shit. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. So that, that type shit kept going on and on and on. And then one day, it was lunchtime. I think I was skipping. I was on... No, I wasn't skipping. I was actually on my actual lunch that day. So, 
how the school doors are i'm pretty sure how most doors are in school the outside is locked you can only go out you can't come back in unless somebody open the door for you and how i walk i walk with my head down i don't know why it's just this thing ever since i was like little i walk with my head down it's like i i can't and i be walking and shit people like pick your head up smile i'm like bitch fuck you i'm walking i got it <laughs> so walk with my head down going to the bathroom mind my business and i had this book in my hand and somebody opened pussy was at the door somebody opened the door for pussy and i'm walking to the bathroom didn't even see her but if i would have saw the bitch i still want to open the door but i didn't see her so what the fuck ever opens the door for pussy and all i heard i know her you know you just know people voice i just heard it she was like hey dude sit down you fucking on my story though she was like, you could have opened the motherfucking door for me. And I I just a bit so red like today. That day, I just was not having anything. I told you I wasn't in the mood for anything. So I turned around. I'm like, pussy, pussy, what's up? Like, what, what you trying to do? So like, I'm not trying to do nothing. I don't want to fight you, Mari. I don't want to fight you. Like, and she started dancing. I'm like, bitch, you crazy. You dancing. You crazy. So I started walking. I just was like, fuck it. Like, I'm my my fucking business. Because she, obviously, she's a lunatic. So I started walking. Continue walking to the bathroom. She follows me. And I don't know what possessed me to turn around and smack that bitch with the book but that's what i did because she was you you're following me now so you obviously want a problem smack that bitch with the book and you any normal person would be like oh i thought i smacked this bitch with a book i'm about to just go in for the kill bye 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 but i'm not like that i'm like i'm gonna give you fair game even though you hella bigger than me i told you i don't give a fuck i'm 115 Pussy was like 150, 160, bitch, I don't know. Bigger than me? The fuck? She like two of me, I don't know. So she started taking off her uh, book bag and her um, fucking purse. Now, I didn't realize how long it took for somebody to take that shit off. But by the time she took it off, I didn't feel like fighting. I was like, damn, you sure are taking a long time, like, bitch. But, I mean, fair game, whatever. So, she started, she ran up again, smacked her with the book again, and the shit fell out of my hand at this point. So, we're like, you ever, you ever seen, well, I'm pretty sure you've seen bitches that are like this, and they're, like, holding on, like, just hitting each other. Everybody, we're both standing up, nobody has fallen yet. And because she's bigger than me, she has that advantage. So, she's pushing me towards the auditorium door, and it has these handles that like the kind of handles that stick out and you pull them down like you pull them and open the door so it like it stuck out you know you know what the fuck i'm talking about i put a picture in this shit somewhere she pushed me into it in my back it was just like how hard she pushed me into it it just instantly made me like do like that and just like i just we just both dropped so at this point she's on top of me for i bro i kid you fucking not like 10 seconds I don't know what type of crackhead strength I had, but somehow I got on, I flipped that bitch over and got on top of her. And she had this hairstyle that required like a whole bunch of motherfucking pins in her head. So it was like bobby pins all over. If I could find that hairstyle, I'll put that shit in here somewhere too. So I'm on top of her and she's holding my hair and I'm like pinning her down, like just like so her head neck can't move and i'm just like boom 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 and at the time i didn't even think about it but as i was hitting her the pins were going inside of her head <laughs> probably could have killed that bitch you know i'm saying it's like, it's like it's like it went that deep but like they were going they were like affecting her head or whatever somebody picks me up pulls me off of her and i tried to kick her now this what a shit i just did not understand she said i know you didn't just try to kick me i'm like i want to laugh but i'm like how stupid we're bitch we're fighting i i already hit you with a book twice why wouldn't i try to kick you like <laughs> it was and then after that it was just like it, everything happened so fast she was just like gone right after somebody put me off i know you didn't try to kick kick me 
going because her grandma her grandma was coming to pick her up she just got her hair done i fucked that shit up all the way and she was just gone because her grandma was there she left so i go in the bathroom i didn't realize that she left somebody somebody told me she left after so i go in the bathroom before i went in the bathroom people were like oh she bleeding i'm like oh fuck oh bitch fuck no no i'm not but they weren't talking about me. They were talking about her. But I didn't know at the time. So I go in the bathroom and I'm looking. I'm like, my nose ring? Like, what the fuck is it bleeding? Like, the only thing that was r wrong with me was I had all mascara. I guess I was closing my eyes too tight. And the mascara ran. Like, <laughs> it wasn't like tears. It was just like, fuck, I don't know. It was just like blurred. Or it was just like black under my eyes from the mascara. And I wiped it off. Good. And then I go back out and it was like... I was like, where the fuck she at? Where is she at? I, I didn't know she left, but she left. Did that, whatever. Somebody told me, like, pussy was bleeding. Like, her, the, the pins from her head, you pushed them bitch. I was like, well, <sighs> that you get for starting with me, bitch. Oh, you, you, somebody opened the door for you. You should have went and mind your business. So, and the fight was so dumb. I'm not saying that I beat her up or she beat me up it was one of the most dumbest fights because of some stupid shit she did and, and everybody was in the cafeteria and it was only like six people around and one person recording and the bitch got a shitty ass recording so it i couldn't even show you if i wanted to because that shit was like fucking three two and a half years ago so yeah whenever i was in high school senior two years ago yeah two years ago so that was that so, still dealing with the shit with the motherfucking girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. To conclude the story, some shit that Peter told me was, oh yeah, I was sitting up here talking with some people and your name came up. I'm like, why the fuck did my name come up with some people I don't even know? He was like, oh yeah, your ex-boyfriend, um, you, you, you sucked his dick. I was like, bitch, never a day in life. I'm not one of those bitches. And if you're a nigga watching this, I'm I'm not there yet in life. I'm not. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Peter knew this. And he was just, I was like, well, what did you say? I didn't say, all I said was like, nah, she not like that. that. And I was like, that's it? Like, you gonna let him talk about me like that? And even if I did do that, that's my, that's my boyfriend, bitch. What are you talking about? Like, what is that to even? <sighs> All this shit I was dealing with because of motherfucking Peter and just just Peter in general. It's um it's all his fault. So that's why I stopped being friends with him. And then the moment I stopped being friends with him, it was around a graduation um rehearsals in the auditorium, and I stopped being friends with him. And then all the bitches that didn't like me saying that I ruined him and his girlfriend's relationship were all speaking to me I, I don't know how the word got around that we stopped being friends because we didn't tell anybody that we just stopped being friends and they all they were like hey 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 i'm like bye bye bitch bye like what <laughs> fuck out of here like y'all really wanted us to stop being friends that bad bitch i wanted us to stop being friends that bad i told that motherfucker i don't have to deal with this Oh, and then when I said the part where I said um, he didn't want me, I didn't want him, he didn't want me. In the middle of this, I forgot to put it in, but in the middle of this, it, um, we had went to the mall, me and Peter, and then we had came home, we just sitting in the car talking, and he was like, I had told him that I had uh, kissed one of my old best, but we weren't really best, we were, but it was just like, he, he liked me first before we were best friends, like he was hella cute, and I was like, hey. I mean, I'll kiss you. Like, yeah, ain't nothing. Kissed him. And I told Peter that. And he was like, so, like, you ain't never thought about kissing me? And I'm like, see, this the shit that people think we doing. And you sitting up here insinuating that we should kiss. Bitch, you're foul. You, you're foul. You have a whole girlfriend. And you sitting up here trying to impose on kissing me like i i said bye peter after he said that i was like oh no bye i gotta go in the house got in the house done done like the next day it wasn't awkward or anything it was just like i don't know if you worry about the wrong bitches now girlfriend because you need to worry about your man himself you need to worry about your man himself okay okay 
even somebody from my school, if she's watching this right now, I bet you didn't know all this good tea. I bet you, you didn't. You never knew the insides. You, you never knew the details of this. I was never the bad guy. It was it was Peter and his own fucking girlfriend messing up their whole fucking re the relationship were so it was so dumb like there was a time where peter was sitting in the cafeteria and girlfriend just walked up and smacked the shit out of peter and i'm just like wait why why she do that peter was like oh she slapped me because she said i was showing off in front of my friends and i'm just like but didn't she just came she came out of nowhere she wasn't even here long enough to know if you were showing off or not she just like walked up and slapped your ass all it took for me to have a bomb ass senior year was to not be his friend and i tried on multiple occasions occasions to stop being his friend and he 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 just he wanted his bitch to not win he wanted to win everything over her so i mean afterwards he was like can you sign my yearbook i i i said no can i sign yours here, write some shit in there. You, you write some shit in there. I forgot what the fuck you wrote. If I can go dig that shit up and just show show you what he wrote, if I can find my fucking book, I'll put that shit right here. Like my life is like a fucking movie. If you want to hear, an, here's another poll for you, motherfuckers. If you want to um hear another story time about the last mofo I got motherfucking fired. Or the time I almost witnessed a real live motherfucking murder scene, bitch. Like, I my bro, I swear to God, these this these stories are real. There's no clickbait, bitch. I almost seen somebody dying, motherfucker, and I was calling everybody phone number except my parents because I was somewhere I wasn't supposed to be to come pick my ass up. So choose out of those two, and um, I will be doing a giveaway soon for um my 1,000 subscriber count or whatever. And the stuff I'm going to be giving away, giving away is um all of my favorite things that i use as far as makeup or like a shirt and i'm gonna make a shirt <laughs> whoever wins you know what i'm saying will get the right size or whatever and i'll put how the shirt i think maybe a shirt or a hoodie one or two i don't know i don't know the details of that yet that'll be like another video but yeah thank you for watching my motherfucking video and Yeah.